Hello my soccer universe to another rather, relatively special uh, unpacking video. Uh, you know maybe that for me the 98 World Cup in France is probably uh, to me the most cherished one uh, because it was kind of the first one that I could fully experience. I just uh, finished with school, I was at the university you know uh, early on and it was all I could watch more or less all the games uh, so I, I was fully immersed into that World Cup so uh, and also with Austria being there I, I was fully invested yes I saw the final of the 86 I saw some games of the 90 World Cup uh, due to time difference I only got really then late into the 94 World Cup although we watched as much as we could from the group the, the group stage but you know with 130 local kickoffs it just didn't work the odd thing is that for me, for the longest of times, I didn't have any shirts from the 98 World Cup. Yes, this France shirt was in the possession of my brother. Uh, and my other brother had, I think, the corresponding away shirt. But for instance, the Netherlands shirt uh, was one that I then, I know I had the chance to buy it, but I never bought it. But over the past few years, uh, I actually got a few 98 World Cup shirts. Yes, the Norway shirt was also uh, in there. I got a few 98 World Cup shirts. Not too many, and I still holding out for uh, the Austria shirts. Where actually I like the away jersey uh, better. But I have here a parcel, huge parcel. There's only one shirt in there, but of a '98 World Cup jersey. And what's more, it's also a team that is qualified for the '22 World Cup, so making it also uh, quite special. And it is for the team in a color that I don't have and I always wanted to have. So, uh, you know, it ticks all the boxes for me. Um, I would say we get straight to it. Uh, it is a somewhat adventurous design, I have to say. Uh, so, and it's from not one of the big, big, big nations. But when I saw this online, I was really, really happy uh, because I always said for that part particular team, I would love to have that particular jersey. And to find it in a re or at least a seller claims in a relatively good condition, I have to say I was really, really, really pleased with that. Yes, it cost me 40, which is usually a little bit more that I <laughs> uh, that I usually spend. And just look at the packaging. <laughs> there's, two, there's more packaging than anything uh, else. The jersey is here and I can see already uh, it is a little bit of, you know, it is old. You can definitely tell its age. It is a Lotto team. Now you can go through your memory which teams were red and with Lotto and maybe you can get it. This, I even want to bridge it a little bit further. This particular shirt was worn in a game against England. Now I'm giving already too much away. Uh, it is Tunisia's 98 and that was the home jersey. Nowadays I think Tunisia has switched to a white home jersey but back then they were in red. And I have to say of all the Tunisia jerseys that I have seen most of the, of the time and you can you you know the slight discoloring to the collar, I think, is quite visible. But of all the Tunisia jerseys that I've seen, this was always the one that stood out for me. They were not the Eagles of Carthage back then, but there is definitely some Eagle thing going on with the wings and so on, and then on the sleeves. Um, what I find very interesting is this is all sublimated in, so that the crest is part of the material. But what's even more interesting, and I think this is, I'm not sure how much the camera will pick it up, but the Federation crests are also inside of the material. Oh, this is not the Federation, no, this is the Tunisian, uh, the um, roundel from the Tunisian flag. So this, the moon with the star is inside the pattern. I think it's probably better seen on the back side. And it says Tunisie, so pretty cool. What adds to me is, of course, that uh, after finishing school, we spent a week at the whole class in Tunisia uh, together. And so I had a soft spot for Tunisia at that World Cup as well. So uh, it all kind of blends very well together. And so I have the four 
plus this one. Those are my five uh, 98 World Cup jerseys. I have a sixth one. And I know Austria, I see it here and there, not always at the best price, but you know, so soon so or later I will get also the Austrian ones. I'm really, really pleased with this one. Yes, the condition, especially on the, you know, on the cotton part is not great, but the polyester part is really pristine. There are only a few bubbles in there, but nothing really that bothersome, to be honest. And I think this can be easily taken care of. I totally, I really love this pattern. And I know that Tunisia probably this worker will not play a single time in red unless there's some weird jersey matchup. But I have now a red Tunisia jersey, especially when I wanna cover the AFCON where I always said Tunisia is there, I need a red Tunisian jersey. So yeah, 40 bucks, very, very pleased with that one. Please let me know what you think about this jersey. I am super pleased with it. <laughs> let, let us whatever, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel, see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so to get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.